Welcome to Alpha Outdoors Field Test. Welcome to a new episode. Today I'm going to do apocalypse style field camping with my apocalypse setup or my Mad Max setup as I would like to call it. My attire that I'm wearing right now, a pair of 511 Coyote brown pants, moisture wicking OD green shirt, bandana, mostly for the cool factor. No, I'm just kidding. I sweat like a pig, so it keeps all the sweat out of my eyes, so it helps a lot. A pair of boot blouses and a pair of water, water, uh, combat, and yeah, water combat issues made by Altima. Kind of like Converse's, but you can get them soaking wet and they'll get dry extremely quick. And there's also these little uh, vents on the sides that help bending the foot a lot easier too. The inside's made out of rubber, selected for my setting. Near semi-flooded out river bank area, so a lot of the leaves are cleared out. Oh, what, what is that? There's my pack. Got a two quart canteen. Got a hammock strapped to it. First of all, I'm using an Alice, an Alice frame. And I, you could basically do almost anything with these things. You could rig them up and do as much as your imagination can provide with ideas I got mine set up like this got an ammo can on it you can store your stuff you want to get stay dry ammo food whatever a hammock e-tool little butt pad a little saw I added that at the last minute med kit um, and inside the butt pack I got a few items as well Got my head rechargeable headlamp Bushnell. I love this lamp. Has red lenses, high, low, mini uh, LEDs, and then a really bright white LED on it. Or you can set it to a low setting as well. I added a little flap inside of my uh, butt pack, so I made my own mount map pouch, whatever you want to call it, on my, my lid. I got sick of trying to find one that had a map pouch on it. A spare shirt in case it gets cooler. Another, it's more of like a fishing shirt, so this is very lightweight, but it dries quick too, but it keeps you warm enough in the type of weather we're in, about 80 degree weather right now. TP. Pruning shears, those always come in handy paracord with a d-lock and my poncho is in there too i just don't feel like digging it out i got a marine poncho in there um that's what i carried on my it's a lightweight setup about 15 pounds all in all my hammock's strung up it actually took me longer to find these little guide wires than it did actually to set up and if you go over here Got my little field kitchen dug out. Got my tarp strung up. Now this is a spot I have used numerous times. I'm just trying to say that quietly. Because to be honest, I'm not sure I'm supposed to be here. But uh, I already had nails in these trees, so that's how I was able to cheat a little bit and get some of my tarps up beforehand. Now I just used it in this corner and that corner and just used my paracord I had on it but over here in this one I slung the paracord around that tree ran it around that tree connected it to that corner ran it back that way looped it around pulled it back through into this middle one pulled that back over like a spider web brought it back down and then looped it there that way if I gotta move camp quick all I gotta do is pull one string and it'll all come down Got myself a little seat dug out. 
clearing out some of the brush right now. My food, my food and water hanging right there. I used to use that as a medical kit. That's why there's a medical symbol on the back of it. And then I got my rest of my pack showing there, first aid and basically what I would need to get through the night. A little bit of entertainment, batteries for my phone so I could read. Um, a little bit of extracurricular activities. Uh, like I said, a shirt to get warm and if it happened to rain and it's not calling for it, I could always take that down, throw it on top of that, or just simply slide this over there. Either or, it really don't matter. They both take about just as much effort, not very much. Also, about my fire, before I wrap up, this is a, what I like to call a floating fire. Dig a little hole, have a little trench line dug out for oxygen. Then you st stick this uh, bigger sticks in the hole on the sides after you already have the smaller fire going. And then by the time it gets to the bigger sticks, they're dried out a lot more and then it, it makes it a lot easier to burn. Guaranteeing you with a nice fire. Just something I played around with. Um, Especially whenever it's down here by the river with wet wood. For me, that's the best way to do it. It's easier to sm find smaller, drier pieces and then a lot of wet big pieces. So I just started staking them in like that and letting them dry while the smaller fire is going. And it usually works out pretty well. As you can see, it's starting to catch already. I love that e tool. It's Gerber. Great for digging, great for clearing out debris. Got me a little seat dug out. Just had three deer run past me a few minutes ago. But that's my camp set up for my Mad Max pack out. Well, this concludes the episode of Alpha Field Test. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you again soon. Thank you. God bless. God bless Donald Trump.